Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I'd like to welcome you back into the kitchen for part two of using the refried beans and one of my favorite recipes. It's all about holy frijoles, y'all. <laughs> but now we're going to get busy on putting together beef and bean burritos. Yes, now I'm also adding some quick made Spanish rice because I've been too busy cooking refried, cooking the beans and making refried beans. This is just leftover rice with really good picante sauce added to it. You can season it if you want to, but the beans are really seasoned. So, ingredient-wise, what you're going to need for these, and I call them, um, what are, wet burritos. There we go. Good grief. They are wet burritos because I like my burritos that way. All right. What you're going to need is, of course, refried beans. And hopefully you make your own homemade refried beans. This is a mixture. Now you can use any kind. This is an 80-20 mixture of good beef and pork. It was um, ground together. You can use beef. You can use shredded. Uh, not, yeah, you could use shredded pork or pulled pork. I wouldn't use no barbecue sauce. Chicken turkey, no meat, buffalo, beefalo, venison, whatever you have meat-wise, you can use it. It will work in the dish. I, I've got pecani sauce, red pepper flakes, the Spanish rice. we got tortilla shells, or actually, no, it's uh, burrito flour. Uh, shells, uh, wraps, and I'm using Colby Jack this time. The cheese, whatever cheese you like, no cheese, more vegetables, and I forgot to cut up my bell peppers, so guess what? There's bell peppers and the pecani sauce. I'll be good. First things first, take a baking dish. I think this is a 9 by 13. And what I want to do, and this is, this is one of the reasons it's called wet burritos. Pour a good dose of, hold on a minute. Okay, had a phone call come through. Alright, what I've done is poured in a pecani sauce and spread it out on the bottom. Because this is why it's called wet burritos, the beginning of it. And we're going to lay the wrapped burritos on top. Now everything is warm. And all we have to do is, uh, he's still on the phone, hold on. Okay, maybe we can do this now. Okay, we'll take one burrito wrapper out. You can use flour, you can use corn, whichever one you like. If you want to do gluten-free, go for it. All right, we're going to put some homemade, good old thick refried beans in the shell. And like I said, they will thicken up as they cool down and this is how I like mine real nice and thick okay little bit of the Spanish rice
and I don't put any piccone sauce on the inside because it's already surrounded in, on the outside and also in the rice. And this was a two pound package that I'm using. And a little bit of crushed red pepper. Now, an ingredient is optional. Red pepper is optional. These are your burritos. Make them the way you like them. And any escapees get put right back in. This one was a little fatter, but it's going to work fine. And I should put cheese inside them, but it'll be okay. I'll put extra cheese on the outside. And so you'll be able to see what I do. I'll just snuggle that burrito right down in the salsa. All right, we'll do one more. That works better than you say. And you'll take great pride in knowing you're the one that made the refried beans. I like a little bit of the Spanish rice in there, not a whole lot, because I want to taste everything, a little bit of everything. Now, you can also sprinkle cheese on top, which I forgot to do, but that's okay. I'm going to make sure that there's plenty of cheese on top. And I have my oven preheating, or the oven preheating to 350. And... Don't worry about perfection. Just wrap the burritos. They don't have to be perfect. Because believe me, they're going to have enough piccone sauce and cheese on them. You're not going to see a thing. Alright. Hopefully I get... Six more made, and I'll bring y'all right back. Okay, I was able to squeeze seven, and they're almost got eight. Now, if you have leftover ingredients like I do, you can container them up and store it in the fridge, or you can store it in your freezer and use for your next batch of wet burritos. Now, remember I have piccone sauce on the bottom. I'm going to do a little bit on top because I don't want it to all bubble over. And of course, if you got homemade you can use homemade. I just happen to run off and leave mine.
not gonna lie, y'all, these smell so good, and I absolutely love to make them. They are so easy. Now, if you get um, metal baking pans, now you can go ahead and make them. Let, let me add the cheese now. You can make them and, you know, wrap them real good with aluminum foil, and you can freeze them. Let me guess. Do I have a knife? Of course not. All right, give me a minute. Okay, I won the battle with the bag, finally. All right, I'm using Colby Jack. You can use plain cheddar. You can use like a, a Mexican cheese blend. You can use whatever cheese you prefer. You can leave the cheese completely off of it. Just remember, cheese makes everything better. And you want to make sure that it gets a really good coating. Because, you know, I forgot to put the cheese on the inside. But, is it going to hurt it? Not a bit. Even if I would have put the cheese on the inside of them, I'd still be putting the cheese on the outside. Double check. Make sure you don't have any empty places because you don't want nobody getting gypped. Like I said, cheese is optional. Just got to be careful about the edge of the pan so nothing boils, bubbles over. Double check because I know there's somebody... There's somebody out there that's going to say, you missed a spot. Okay. This is ready to go in the oven. I'm going to put it in a 350 degree preheated oven. About 30 minutes. Main thing to look for is bubbling around the pan of the salsa and your cheese is completely melted with a pretty color and you might have to throw a pan underneath in case it gets to bubbling too much but I'm going to bring you back once it comes out of the oven see y'all after a while okay it is heated thoroughly the cheese is all nice and melted it started to bubble out a little bit here, so I pulled it early. Everything is heated up. And I like to go for the one in the middle. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. I'm going to rescue my cheese. That's my cheese. And this is a full meal. You got your vegetables. You got your meat. You got your carbs. You got a little a bit of everything. I'm not done yet, y'all. And like I said, everything's optional. I like a little bit of sour cream.
like a little bit of red pepper crack. And above all else, I like my jalapenos. And I know it's having a stomach bug. It's going to take me a couple of days to eat this baby. That's okay. I'm fine with leftovers. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. Homemade from scratch. Wet burrito my way. Good grief, I got all that thing. Alright. Let's see if I can get a bite if it's not too hot. Uh oh, light bothering. And all you do is heat it until the bacani sauce is bubbling. And the cheese has melted and got a little bit of golden brown on it. Mmm. Absolutely wonderful. Homemade from scratch. Only way you should be eating. I hope this video, oh man, that's good. I hope this video encourages you to also make your own homemade wet burritos. Sorry, y'all, I'm sweating. Simple, easy, homemade, from scratch, and you know how to do it step by step. Everyone, take care and stay safe and sound. Continue to stock your pantries with food that is nutritious and will keep you sustained. Continue to stock up your, sorry, no, I'm going to sleep. Stock up your medicine cabinet with medicine that will heal you. Stock up your protection as well as your bare essentials. You know what you need and what you're going to uh, use. Sorry, cooking second dinner for somebody who won't eat that. Uh, I look forward to seeing y'all in my next video. I'm getting tired, y'all. Everyone, take care. I look forward to seeing you in my next video, and may you each be blessed. Hoot, hoot, dinner time.